Hello, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've decided to do one for my YouTube friends. Um, tube and pipe again, and I've got a nice trick on trim extend on tube and pipe. I'm not sure if you can see, I've got a container um, and there wasn't a lot of room and I've decided to lay all my roots um, running straight from the equipment uh, without placing any fittings, any nozzles, flanges, uh, just to kind of prove that it all fits. But now it's time to place all the flanges and all the fittings. Um, and obviously we're going to have a lot of interferences, but we're going to fix that with Trim Extend. So let's try and place that flange over there. We're going to connect to the end of the root. Uh, but as soon as you place it, I'm not sure if you can see, there's going to be interferences with the flange from the matching flange on the tank. So that's not a good option. Um, that's because the root's been started straight from the flange of the tank. So um, we're going to try and place. But instead of placing, we're going to use connect and we're going to connect it straight into the tank. That's better, there are no interferences now. But how do we connect the pipe to the flange? Let's try connect fitting. We'll choose the pipe and the flange. And that's not what we want. Let's undo that for a second. So one option would be to go inside the root and uh, break the links with the, the flange with the projected geometry, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, we'll use a different trick. Let's do a cross section and see what's going on in there. So the root will go straight into the flange of the tank. But let's try and populate, populate the root. And as you can see, the pipe is already interfering with the flange. So how much is the pipe interfering with the, with the flange? Uh, let's, let's go edit the, the root and try and measure. Um, uh, I can't see too good. Let me go to the run level. Finish the root. I uh, lost my section. Do my section there. Okay, now I can measure uh, from here to almost five millimeters. So that's how much I need to trim the pipe. Um, part level, part priority, yes. It's in the root. So on any of the open ends, you can right click and choose trim extend. Even if that is uh, uh, constrained, uh, it's grounded um, and it's connected to the tank, you can right click and choose trim extend. So we're going to trim five millimeters I click finish so you notice that the root has not changed it still remained the same but let's see what happens when we exit the root I section again there you go and the pipe has been trimmed so although the root stayed the same so I can dimension uh, from the tank I can also trim extend the pipe to whatever it suits me and that's the way um, I'm gonna work in here um, at, at the time when I laid all my uh, roots um, I didn't even knew what size they were what type of flanges they were I just wanted to prove that it will fit uh, and now I can go back and either reroot, but that's too much work or just place the fittings as I've done here with the flange and trim extend the pipe So let's edit the root again. 
and any of the open ends will have the trim extend option um, you right click on the node um, and you've got the option let's see the extend for a second oh, why why keep losing my section and here we go um, it's already longer than my uh, um, ending node the, the, the root node So not any node, um, it's got to be an end node, even though it's grounded and it's where well, I included geometry when I started the route from the nozzle of the, sorry, the flange of the tank, uh, the option is there. Um, I've got a different example here to kind of give you more ideas of where you could use this. We've got this kit that was sent by our supplier and this union socket looks fine, but the other one doesn't, as in there's no step. I don't know how much my pipe will go in. This is just a generic representation. Um, I don't even know what brand this is um, and I don't really care. But uh, I'm not sure how much my pipe will go in so I've used the outside circular circular edge um, and just like the case at the bottom which has been extended already we're gonna do the same for the one at the top so edit the root and extend by 20 which is the outside uh, stepping so I'm just assuming that will be safe enough so again, although the route's been started on the outside circular edge, um, you can extend or trim your pipe to suit your design. And this is it. I hope it was interesting. I hope you learned something new, um, or at least give you some more ideas of where to use this. Um, till next time, bye-bye.